Hello everyone, Jay Barino here, welcome back. It's Annihilation, a custom campaign for StarCraft 2. We've made it to the end, or should I say Dudekey, made it to the end. Huge congratulations for churning out 24 missions. It's been four years. That's insane. All right, Edge of Annihilation. Thanks to Crane, the Ederon successfully located the RSSI's Nano Command Center responsible for controlling their manipulated forces. Upon its destruction, hoping to have cleansed the effects of the parasites, they were instead forced into a fight for survival, with the RSSI revealing their lost warriors couldn't be saved. Learning this truth made the Ederon's hatred for Crane and the Daggerfang even greater, who claimed that destroying the Nano Command Center would have resulted in the Ederon's victory. Tensions grow between the factions as the United Force struggles to hold itself together. Meanwhile, Reeds and Faring have uncovered the construction site of the Annihilator's superweapon, where preparations for one final battle against the organization are currently in progress. The Annihilator is an immensely powerful weapon of war with incredible armor and unprecedented armament. It will require your full strength to be taken down. Here we go. This is a long one, strap in. I'm told that... There's a lot of cinematics, because indeed, this is the end, the epilogue. It's all getting wrapped up, so here we go. We'll continue on hard. We've made it this far. Choose your specialists. Uh, sure. Science vessels. So our plan is Terran, it looks like. Fortified bunkers are planetary fortresses. Uh, let's grab fortified bunkers. Let's grab ultra capacitors. Let's grab auto refineries. Uh, cellular reactor, please. <clears throat> there it is. We thought we destroyed the Annihilator, but it was a fake out earlier. Here it is. We now stand before the RSSI's final weapon to be used against us. Everything we've done has been leading up to this moment. Are you ready, Faring? Just look at this thing. I shudder to think what it's capable of. Don't worry, we've got this. Crane has already established a base within the area, and ours is getting set up as well. Once the Edirana arrives, we'll all work together to bring the Annihilator down once and for all. Aircraft are approaching, Reeves. Are those the reinforcements you requested? Ah, indeed. I like the look of this. We're getting some help. Officer Reeves, good to see you again. A real pleasure, Lieutenant Piers. I should honestly have called you much earlier. This entire situation has evolved into way more than I could ever handle myself. Judging from the reports you submitted to me, I'm just happy to be of assistance. Marwick was already behind- was really behind all of it? Yes, it's crazy, huh? But most of the cleanup's already been done. This will be the final battle in this war, and with your aid, I'm sure we can make something happen here. Apologies for being so ill-disposed. We have not yet been properly introduced. Lieutenant Piers of the Spec Ops Assault Division at your service. Cole Faring, forward commander of the CPG Rebel Forces. It's an honor. Spec Ops, huh? You guys work together, then. I believe Reeves has mentioned you before. Yes, yeah, albeit so in different branches. Reeves is our expert in investigations and retrieving information. The purpose of the Assault Division is far more straightforward. We act as the primary military service. If a group doesn't possess adequate firepower to deal with an ad adversary, we're called in to provide additional fire support. I don't blame you for not contacting us earlier, Reeves. It seems you definitely got the support you needed, even without us. Indeed. The CPG have many able-bodied soldiers, and our Zerg and Protoss allies have been a big boon to our success here as well. It's beautiful. All three races, working as a unified manner. It's not something I've personally witnessed before. Yeah, not for long, buddy. Well, to keep it short, it ain't exactly easy, but it works out. Anyway, we have a lot of talk- a lot to talk about, and not much time. Follow me, I'll debrief you.
Okay, so this is our target. It's massive. Indeed, this is what Malric planned to release and make us take over with. More RSSI than I think I've ever seen have arrived to keep us from destroying it. To help us, Crane's Daggerfang forces are situated to the west, and we're preparing a base of operations to the east for the Iduron when they arrive. <clears throat> the CPG and I are nestled between those two, closest to the Annihilator. We'll be the main assault force against it, while the Iduron and Daggerfang cover our flanks to the best of their ability. Okay, understood. I'm also detecting many underlying power sources within the Annihilator itself. It's nearly finished, so it may take time to fully unlock its arsenal, as the RSSI learns to control it. Good, we'll use that to our advantage. Yes, normally I'd want to hold off until we're fully aware of what our enemy is capable of, but I don't think we can afford to wait and figure it out. What's this? Don't worry, these are the Iduron arriving from their mission to destroy the Nano Command Center. They're gonna be pissed. Friend Reeves, where's the Zerg creature? Is he here? Calm down, Kaduros. Yeah, he's here, to the west. What's the matter? Nasarin, come. Oh, geez. Sorry about that, Pierce. I gotta handle this. Yeah, this is getting pretty common nowadays. <laughs> Banter! You, traitor. Them, again. What do you want now? We will have your head. Reeves. Guys, what the hell is the deal with you? Stop this. We have received false information from this creature regarding the future of our lost warriors. Why are you protecting this monster? What are you talking about? You told us the elimination of the Nano Command Center would have enabled us to save our brethren from RSSI manipulation. We lost countless warriors attempting to fend them off while engaged by the RSSI. Vorden has fallen because of you. You dare blame me for your friend's death? I had nothing to do with that. I told you what I believe to be the truth about the Nano Command Center. I suppose my information was... misguided. You lied to us. You had hopes that the heavy number of manipulated Protoss would have eliminated us. You draw conclusions recklessly. Why would I... what could I possibly gain from that? You did destroy the Nano Command Center, did you not? Your losses will pay off in the end. I shall. Officer Reeves, we need to get started. The RSSI are making their move. Of course. We don't have time for this. Please, don't waste what little time we have. Get to your positions. This isn't over. We'll see. Everyone, we've gathered you all here to ensure this final stand will become a formidable one. The loss of the Nano Command Center has been a severe failure to us. Its destruction will be punished. 
With the Annihilator, we shall make our stand. Observe as the boss rises once again as part of our greatest accomplishment. Did they, like, upload him into the Annihilator? Finally. He's the little guy in the missile turret on the front. <laughs> what the? Is that Malric's voice? But this can't be right. You dispatched him, didn't you, officer? So many controls here. Hmm. Activating long-range mobility sensors. Ah, I see that Reeves has arrived, and he brought Lieutenant Pierce after all. An utterly foolish move. Something's wrong. I'm not detecting Malric in there. Are you sure? That's because he's Malric Bot 9000 now. Oh, I'm sure, all right. You will pay for delivering that killing blow, Reeves. I'm now a product of the RSSI's technological advances in modern Terran ingenuity. When you left, my body was recovered. Through weeks of a delicate, complex process, my brain was kept sustained and transplanted just so I could function as the Annihilator's central network. A brain transplant? You're part of the Annihilator now? It's astonishing, isn't it? The perfect weapon of war. The weapon that I've sought to see completed for so many years, I can finally view it in all its glory, and much closer than ever before. Even in death, my mind lives on, as the Annihilator itself. My god. I thought he'd lost it before. I'm glad to know you've returned. It will finally give me the chance I deserve to tear you apart. Oh, Crayon. Such a shame you couldn't see the benefits of joining me. You could have been quite an asset for us. Annihilator shields at 100%. Ah, now let's see what this baby's capable of. Prepare yourselves, the Annihilator is moving. Oh shit, we aren't ready to fight in that position yet. Run! Dear God, such incredible power. Ho 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 baby, now that's what I'm talking about. We're in a lot of trouble if you don't have a plan, Reeves. What remarkable strength. But I did pick up some information. The Annihilator appeared to rapidly deplete all of its shields after obliterating our forward base. That weapon must be so incredibly devastating that unleashing it without having enough shields to protect the Annihilator may also cause severe damage to its own hull. So we have to bait its attacks? We have to purposefully allow it to kill us, to do damage to it. I understand. Me too, Lieutenant Piers. While in the construction area, it receives so much additional protection that it'll be virtually impossible to strike in that location. Which means we'll have no choice but to strike down its shields while it's on the move to have any chance against it. If that ability is unleashed upon us again, we're done for. Understood. This will be dangerous, but no other choice than to give it a shot. I'll have my forces intercept the RSSI in the outskirts of the region. Hopefully that will relieve some pressure. If you ever need direct support, just give me a call, okay? Of course. Be careful out there. See, I thought the Annihilator would activate and just wipe out all of these reinforcements that came in. <laughs> you too, officer. You too. Like, the cavalry's arrived, and then, bam, they're all gone. Faring, prepare your CPG, folks. It's time to put an end to this. Yes, sir. Everyone ready? Kaduros, Nasarin, Crayon, we need your help more than ever right now. 
They're just killing each other. It's time to end this. Okay. Quick save. Make SCVs. Get started. In the rear with the gear. Destroy the Annihilator. Allied bases must not be destroyed. All heroes must survive. Now remember, everyone, once the Annihilator regains its shields, it will surely attempt to obliterate our bases again. We need to be ready when that happens. I'm counting on you. Despite our differences, we have one unifying goal. Shall we? Roger. We shall fight to the end. The Daggerfanger prepared. Just make some Marines for right now, please. The Annihilator! Your forces are now ready to face the Annihilator. While stationed at the construction site, the Annihilator is invulnerable. It's regaining and strengthening its shields. After six minutes of recharging its shields, the Annihilator moves out, becomes vulnerable, targeting either the Iduron or the Daggerfang base. Upon moving out, the Annihilator has 3,000 shields. The amount increases each time. It will attempt to obliterate one of your allies' bases. You must strike it before it reaches them. After depleting the Annihilator shields, it will return to the construction site to regain them. During this time, you have an opportunity to damage the Annihilator directly. Be careful! As the Annihilator continues to engage, more of its arsenal goes online. Okay, so we're gonna make Vikings. Like, exclusively Vikings. Officer, the, the Assault Division is spread out <coughs> to intercept the RSSI. Remember, if you need direct support, I'll call a squadron in to help you temporarily. Just give the call. In the meantime, I've su supplied your troops with an additional cache of supplies. I hope you can make use of it. Okay, we've got Reeves. Okay, we have a higher supply cap. We have more Vikings here. Oh, you know we gotta get structure armor, baby. Okay, and then... Orbital Commands also seems prudent. Let's just get these saturated first. We're gonna just need, I think, a lot of Vikings to take down the... The thing, you know, the flying, the thing that flies, the destroy, the, the big, the big guy that flies, and he's gonna go and kill our friends. That, that thing. Uh, I see him coming in. I understand. What is your our heroes are pretty powerful, so we do this, we do this. It's Z and X. I forgot about that. Missile pods and defense matrix for battle cruisers seems pretty awesome. I'm mostly I think my heroes can do a lot of the defense themselves. I'm mostly preparing for the fact that we're going to have uh, uh, have to defend against the Annihilator, which scares me a little bit. I don't know if they're going to be able to attack us from the other directions, uh, like where I'm going to need to set up defense. So let's quick save, and uh, if I have to reload, I have to reload later. And that's just the way it is. What is your status? Clear the bridge. Okay, let's get a couple tanks out. These are siege breakers, right? Yes, they are, baby. Ready to blunder. Okay. We got some intense music playing. I'm ready. Additional supply depots required. Okay, we don't have quick depots, unfortunately. That's okay. Let's get some extra depots out, and then we want double orbital commands so that we can start calling down mules. Hang on, hopefully with Hell's Angels we can wipe this uh, wipe this thing. So many things. We need missile range for sure. Upgrade. Complete. Upgrade complete. Uh, bunker range. I think let's grab infantry Base weapons. Ready to okay, get on in here. Our allies are being attacked. Say, is there a reason that we're not attacking this currently? <laughs> Okay, our heroes are okay. There we go. Oh, they're cloaked. I see. That does not reveal them. Okay, let's grab a couple science vessels for the future. Uh, I, I guess I just can't see this guy. Can we scan for him, please? We just want to. I just want to kill this thing. Um, planetary fortresses would have been fine here. Uh, unfortunately, that's not what we've got. Yeah, so let's just grab a few more science vessels. Gas. We're looking okay on gas. Not enough energy. And then we'll call the assault division when the annihilator Our spawns, I'd say. Ederon is actually attacking. Maybe they can actually wipe out some of these attacks before they get to us. Okay, grab me a couple medics for my heroes. Okay, cool. And then 
what do we need for our Vikings still? Probably no nothing else here is particularly, I don't think would be particularly useful. Upgrade. The, Upgrade. Shield, the Annihilator shields have grown strong. Be ready when it makes a move. Our allies are being so I don't know, again, I may have done the wrong thing here. <clears throat> Goliaths would also be really useful against it. Can I upgrade these? I've got the tanks. Let's move them up a little bit. Get more tanks. Okay, and we'll see where it goes, and then we'll have to react. Annihilator shields at 100%. So we want to do as much damage as possible. I've waited long enough for this moment. Now you will face the true power of the RSSI. Mobilize all forces. We have to stop the Annihilator. Okay, it's moving to the Iduron. Let's get over there. I see a base up at the front. We might be able to go and take that. Okay, more tanks. Should be able to outrange it. I think this is the best way to do it. The Annihilator is a true masterpiece of engineering and shall not fall so easily. You have halted the Annihilator's assault on our Nexus point. Thank you, Warriors. I think if we can outrange it by doing this, then we're in great shape. Yep, this will work. This will work. Very tempting to try to take this front base again. Well done. Let's return to base to prepare for the Annihilator's next attack. Uh, I'd like to transition into battle cruisers. Uh, Goliaths also will be useful. We're gonna need a just, I think, lots of turrets. What's going on? Let's grab, uh, not that. Neo Steel Frame. Let's grab another engineering bay. Gotcha. Let's grab another barracks so we can just slam out units as fast as possible. I'd like to take this base, but I don't think they'll leave it alone if we do. So let's at least try to snag some extra gas from it. How about that? Ready to blunder. Okay, these attacks are, are bananas. Like, truly bananas. We can spam the... We can spam Reeves' thing, keep in mind. Grenade him again. Okay, obviously the problem here is the fact that our, we're relying on our heroes exclusively to defend. Please. Please just kill this thing. Okay, and then they, they wipe out all of our stuff in the meantime so easily. Yeah, planetaries would have been better. Oh my god. <clears throat> Grenade. Grenade again. You've got to be kidding me. <laughs> they scanned for him. They scanned for him. Okay, we got to load it up. See, those those big things, they destroy your tanks so fast. I guess we just have to land the Vikings and hope for the best because we got hit like three times in a row there. We could try to move out and hit the, the enemy bases. Would that actually stop their attacks? Maybe the enemy bases are buffed to the point where we actually can't stop them. If I have to, I will lower the difficulty because today I'm traveling, so I have a very limited window to finish this. You ready for war? I have a very limited window to finish this mission, so if I can't do it, then, uh, then like, I guess sort of, oh well. <laughs> like, I, I, need to, I need to lower the, the difficulty. It is what it is. I guess spread out a little bit. We could always defense matrix. Okay, grab these things. We're going to do this. Merely a minor setback. So it gets repaired fully? I'm not sure. In any case, I'm going to come back here and we're going to we're going to land. Our allies are being attacked. Okay. Do this. More tanks. We need lots of tanks, I think. Insufficient Vespine gas. We're landed. We're ready for that. Okay. 
Okay, and then just lots of turrets. Yeah, I can't build here. Even just having these will help immensely. We just we just need those. What's around the map? What are these? We're gonna need those for later, Research I presume. Complete. Okay, make a lot of SCVs. And then you guessed it, more Hell's Angels. Let's quick save. There's so many there's so many fucking There's so many of these fucking uh, Hunter Seeker missiles. They're just obliterating me. No, you're right in the middle. No. <laughs> okay, that side went better. <laughs> that side went so much better. Okay, make another thing here. You guys heal us. I had more tanks, and again, they were spread out, so they didn't get picked off so easily. Okay, Neo Steel's on the way. Got to keep getting weapons upgrades and then more Hell's Angels. Rates could be okay too, I presume it detects. Of course it detects, right? Oh my god, so many flipping. <laughs> Alright, it's fine. It's fine. Let's get a couple turrets along the edges here. Please, please stop it. Okay. SCVs are under attack. <laughs> oh, they're gods. They're actual gods. Okay, more Vikings. Let's get the Vikings dealing area damage. Oh, we already got that. Okay, great. Okay, hop in the bunkers. Plus two. They're letting us keep this for now, so let's try to set this back up. If it gets destroyed, that's fine. It will have paid for itself in Vespian real quick. I should have taken that much earlier. Oh, and we could call for reinforcements. What am I doing? Get high sec. We're just going to line this all with turrets. Okay, get marines. And then, I, I can't, like, honestly, like, just tons of Vikings. It's working. It's going to work. And then we just wait for the Annihilator to move again. Now, obviously, this is going to be a, ch a real challenge when the Annihilator moves out. When the Annihilator moves out and we get attacked at the same time. So, we'll decide what we're going to do in that case. So we're going to need another Starport, probably. Again, they don't send attacks from here. They only send... From the other directions. So I think we could just hang out here and, and ta retake this this side base. Again, I should have done it much earlier. I should have gotten supply drop. <laughs> okay, we'll get some turrets up here. I'm not messing around with the turrets. Let's go. Okay, they'll be able to defend themselves, it looks like. Oh, Nope, of course they came up here. Again, it essentially paid for itself. That's fine. Stop stop repairing. It's it's fine. Uh SCVs repair twice as fast. Grab this. Toss these guys in bunkers. And then you all lift off 29 minutes. They didn't when they don't come with Vikings, that's actually extremely useful. Yeah, that, this works fine. Just keep getting, um, yeah, that stuff. I'm going to send SCVs out again to retake those geysers. What's going on? Yeah, yeah. We hear you. Okay, and then Gatling cannons are functional. Oh, no. Not the Gatling cannons. Is there another base over there? No. Okay, I see the Gatling cannons now. Force it to turn around, do a ton of damage. There, bring your weapon to the Dagger Fang once more and you shall be crushed. Yeah, because of me, Crayon. <laughs> Alright, can you cram over here? You can do no further damage. Return to your positions. Sure, sure. Okay, repair me up, Scotty. I think your defense is decent right now. Our 
allies are being attacked. Uh, let's get some battle cruisers and upgrade them. Jackson's Revenge, baby. Upgrade complete. Okay, keep getting SCVs as well. Call down supply. I really just need the gas here, like I said. I don't need the minerals yet, but I will later, I think. We could always move our defense down there and set up some extra defense, but I don't think we'll ever have enough to realistically stay alive. Okay, this was sort of bound to happen if they have vision up here with air units. Oh, these fucking assholes. Are you fucking kidding me?! Land and then don't land? You... How can they see up here? Science vessel. <clears throat> okay. Fine. Get over here and repair, buddies. I don't know how they can see up there, but in any case, we should be okay. There we go. Yamato can and get the missile pods as well. We can always ma we can mass Yamato the thing. Upgrade complete. So you gotta be careful along this ledge, as you can see. Stuff gets picked off along the whole way. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> the amount of shit! Do not let the Dagger Fang fall this day. F Emperor. Oh, Kazool. Oh, we've got Kazool! Is he here? Let's go, Kazool. How, where, does, where does this send this? Complete. They will attack it directly, then continue to attack the RSSI. If the Annihilator is regaining... You know what? Go and attack with our buddies. Our assistance is needed. Strike swiftly. Yeah, go and attack. Oh my god, look at the Iduron. Fucking get it, buddies! Well, they're not going to, but that's okay. Just keep stunning and throwing grenades. Grab some SCVs, bring them on up. All of you lower down. And we need Vikings again. Vikings, again, until it does AoE, our air units will be fine. They're 3-3-3 three, three, three already. Holy shit. Okay, let's get more science vessels. Might as well try to saturate this and get what mining we can from it. Tempting to come down here and try to wipe this base. We probably could, or eventually with enough battle cruisers, we could do it. Let's wait for our reinforcements to come back up and then do exactly that. So battle cruisers and Vikings, you're our main jam here. Our allies are being attacked. Officer, I'm sorry, but our squadron has been shot down. That's all I can do for now. Let's quick save. I think we've got decent control on this map for now. Seven minutes for assault division keep making more our allies are being attacked more guys more uh, siege tanks our heroes are probably the biggest liability here they also don't benefit from our armor upgrades i think just mass air here is going to be the right choice the annihilator shield regeneration has reduced they must be fully replen replenished in a moment 35 seconds, all right. Our allies are being What's it going to have online this time? Our yeah, nice work, Crayon. Yeah, intercept their attacks on me, please. Okay, we'll see where that group is going. We could destroy the stuff around the Annihilator, and then we can just kind of, we could just camp it, really. Um, that would be kind of bullshit. I guess I won't do that. Insufficient Vespine gas. Okay. Annihilator shields, they're going to the Dagger Fang. Additional thrusters have been configured. Missile barrage can now be requested. Okay, lift up. Uh, oh god. I was afraid of that. That's okay, we can rebuild every time. It's like a quarter down. We can handle this, I'd say. Okay, come on home. Siege and siege. Good work, everyone. Of course, I take all the credit. No problem. I did everything. I'm the best. 
I'm trying to tell this guy to move. Why can can he? Oh, they have the. Do they? Can they stun air? Hold on, I'm detecting a large amount of cyanic animation from the north. The RSSI are planning something. Man, Upgrade. men, release the parasitic mutations onto the battlefield. But watch, we can't control them anymore. Oh no, this is bad. Destroy those parasites quickly. Said to the north. Oh, these. Yeah, let them kill the RSSI for now, and then we'll uh, we'll come and clean up the mess, the mess after. So they have hybrid now. Upgrade complete. You healed. Insufficient Vespine gas. Again, yeah, let them kill each other for now. Okay, this is good. And the Annihilator cannot be attacked right now, I don't think. Rebuild here. Rebuild turrets. Get this. Get almost that. We're rebuilding the geysers again. These air units that give vision for the ground units to just destroy your ledges is extremely annoying. Like, very, very annoying. <laughs> Okay, we gotta try to keep these Vikings alive. Very important. Do we have tactical jump? No, we don't. But we have the, uh... Got other stuff. Okay, rebuild this. I mean, unless I line this with tanks, like, around the edges. Still can't call in the assault division. You know what? I'm gonna come come down here and try to wipe this base. Come with our buddies. I think it's too late. We could go with the Dagger Fang instead and see what they're going to make happen. Or we wait. I'm going to wait for my Assault Division and attack with them. If we can make something happen with that group, that would be really good. Okay, Battle Cruisers, I'm going to leave you up here to defend this base as it's being built. Our SCVs are under attack. Our allies are we were just a little too late on that. The RSSI have been <laughs> engaged us. Ensure they regret this decision. Sure. Okay, great. Science vessels follow the battle cruisers. And then make more battle cruisers. And then we're going to retake the gas again. Under no circumstance will I allow the hive, the hive cluster to fall. And then we've got spec ops. We're going to attack the Annihilator with the shields that we get. Our allies are being attacked. Load them up. Grab this. I called in the fleet. Again, I want if I can destroy some of these outlying RSSI bases, it would remove so much of the pressure from us. Okay, this is where the Vikings, again, we need the Vikings to wipe this stuff. Fairing, oh my god. Heal yourself. Ready our forces, I sense the Annihilator preparing. Ow! Go get healed real quick. I have a new squadron ready for service. Remember, just give the call and I'll bring them to you. We're gonna shoot down the Annihilator, and then we're gonna take our battle cruisers, try to repair them, and then go and attack with the Assault Division. That's my plan. That's the plan. Get some Marines, sure. Okay. One second on Annihilator. Let's get into the fight. Yes, Commander. Okay, send them in. How long does this last? 20 seconds. Our allies are being attacked. Okay, go and attack this. It's a trap. Use D-Matrix. Let's get the Vikings in there. Come on. Come on. Our allied bases can defend themselves pretty effectively also, keep in mind. Okay. 
Okay, this is where we try to do as much damage as possible. Yeesh! Okay, more battle cruisers. And we're near maxed out, which is good. Just keep getting depots. Okay, back out. We're gonna sit down here. It's regaining shields. Again, we're gonna use the Assault Division and try to make some progress into an enemy base somewhere. Actually, up here looks great. <clears throat> Let's turn and fight down here. Stun here. Grenade here instead, I guess, okay. Come on. There we go, that's down. Come on, come on, come on. There we go. Everybody up here. We're going to mass repair. And then we're going to go and try to wipe out a base. What is this? I can track a power source. What did that say? Hang on. I can track a power source. We should aim to retake it for ourselves whenever we get the chance. Move a unit here to control the amplification tower. Okay, let's just go there and see. There may be units, but I don't really have much time. Again, I would rather try to actually destroy a base. Okay, they can attack buildings with the fucking liberators. Awesome. Okay, let's move up with everybody. Including the Vikings, and then let's build more Vikings. This might be a mistake. The parasitic mutations, they're truly a magnificent sight. Alright, get on down here. Kill this. Will they be able to stand up to this? We're gonna find out. Again, every little bit that we can destroy here. Call in the Assault Division, distract them. Our are being attacked. This seems like it can work. Oh, good. The Edirond and the Assault Division are, are helping here. Oh, we have detection here already. What am I doing? Oh, it's the Parasites. Whoops. Okay. The important thing is we wiped out a base. Okay, now fly back. What does the amplifier tower do? I assume it, it reduces the time it takes, perhaps? I really don't know. Okay, that base is gone. We gotta get back, though. I hate this! I hate this so much! Like, I understand why, but, like, you, you really can't defend against that. You just can't. Like, there's no safe spot to put depots. There's no safe spot you can put the majority of your infrastructure because of this. Oh, no! Oh, fuck. All right, let me... You know what? Actually, my quick save was a while ago, but I think I'd rather start from here. Because I think if we just send these battle cruisers up here and let them do their attack, then we've got the Vikings prepared to push back the Annihilator. What I'm gonna do is set up a bunch of tanks down here, along with some bunkers, and try to actually hold on to this base now. So just queue up a bunch of Marines, and then we send the Vikings out to hit the Annihilator. But yeah, let's see if these battle cruisers can essentially do what they need to do by themselves. <clears throat> I think that will work. Get some more turrets. Okay, we've got these things. Lift them all up. We've got our heroes, which we want to make sure that they're used somewhere. Maybe we bring them over here. Yeah, this is working. So let's send our science vessels up to help them. Crane's there too. That's useful. Annihilator shields at 100%. Let's get the uh, Vikings up here. And let's make sure that we don't um, that we don't lose a bunch to these missile barrages. Our 
Right, so then we just, yeah. We just gotta, like, stop move a little bit with these. There we go. This works. The missile barrage is the only thing that can really hurt us. So then avoid these, and then go home. They weren't sieged. Siege up, get in the bunkers. I think... I think we've done it. We held them back. This base is destroyed. Oh my god, we're doing it, boys. Get more science vessels. Get more Jackson's Revenge. Need to pick another base to go and attack. Psionic Emanation, this is the hybrid, right? So let's clump up over here so that we can attack. If something comes over here and destroys the shit on this ledge, we're ready for it. Base is under attack. This is self-sufficient, self right? As long as this one, uh, yeah, this goes down. Okay, rebuild this bunker. Cool, okay. Grab more SCVs to repair. The Annihilator's hanging out back here. Keep making SCVs. We'll get some more tanks for this. Okay, where are my battle cruisers? I think we want to just continue this roll. Let's go pick a different base with the battle cruisers. Wait for Spec Ops to come, or wait for one of our allies to go and attack, and we're going with them, essentially. All right, let's get up here. Okay, all of you get up here and attack. Okay, that's taken care of. Iduron is attacking down here. Perhaps we'll go for that bottom left base next before the stuff shows up. You know, the stuff, the guys, the bad guys. Science vessels follow <coughs> follow these. The Hell's Angels are really just backup that are going to react to wh whatever needs to be backed up. Okay, so you guys come on down here and attack. Every base we take out will be a huge weight off of our shoulders. Have they rebuilt? Not quite. They're rebuilding the bullies, the bully units, but not the production structure. So let's get down there and at least follow up. Additional supply. And then get these bunkers loaded up. And then we need depots. More depots. Our allies are being attacked. Okay, now I'm gonna save. We're a little earlier than we were last time, but this is good. Yeah, wipe out this attack. We lost we lost one to these stupid war machines. Come on. There we go. Attack into that. Okay, and then we've got the Hells Angels. We're gonna send these guys down to also help. And let's see how this goes. It's working. We just gotta get through. I think it's working. Remake battle cruisers. The hardest thing is that yeah, we didn't have an ally with us. No, not the seeker missiles. Oh my god. I just needed like a couple more units and we could have gotten through here. Hang on, let me load again. That the the thing that we did from our load there worked great. Uh, it's just <clears throat> pushing into the, each base. We need a little bit more firepower. Like two more battle cruisers probably would have pushed through that. I could also bring my uh, a couple Vikings uh, just to cover us from the air. But I need them in position to push back the Annihilator. This is a tough map. I expected it to be tough. I expected I'd be recording a lot here. Yeah. Okay. Perfect. So attack here. Still lost that one, unfortunately. Gotta use the defense. You know what? We can save that battle cruiser. Just use the defense matrix on it and turn everyone else around. And then we're gonna bring Vikings with us. That's all we need. We need to bring the Vikings. They can pick off the battle cruisers that are in that base, or wraiths, or or Vikings, really. And uh, and then my battle cruisers will likely survive. But we just gotta sit on the loading screen. I'm lucky that I uh, that I had the this save here ready to go. Right. So this one, D matrix. All of you turn and attack. You back up. 
few D-Matrix, all right? And then we're going to bring some Vikings, not all of them, to get down here and cover us. Oh, God. You know, we lose one battle cruiser, we get another one. Okay, get on down here. See, I guess we should have just attacked with Crayon and taken out the bottom left base. Okay, all of you, get in there. There we go. D-Matrix, absorb some damage while you're at it. Okay, there we go. Get rid of these war machines. Okay, and then all of you push in. Use D-Matrix again. Let's see if we can take this base out. There are so many Seeker missiles. My god. I think this base will go. We really can't afford to land our Vikings. If we landed it, they'll, they'll die. Vikings, Vikings. If this doesn't work, our alternative here... If this doesn't work, our alternative here is to attack the bottom right, because that's where Crane was going. I I really hate these things. I can't I can't afford to land. Yeah, this is this is just it's ill fated. This bottom left base is is too tight. We need a few more battle cruisers with us and not and not lose the ones that we're sending in the first place. So let's do that. And maybe pick a different base to attack. That upper right one was, was softened up by Crane. We just need to attack with our allies, no problem. So that was three reloads of accomplishing nothing. But in any case, I'm happy with the progress we've made. <clears throat> That's fine. So let's make sure we save the battle cruisers we've got here. All right, turn and attack. D Matrix. Turn. D Matrix. Wipe this base, or wipe this attack, rather. Okay, that's not where we're going to go. What I'm going to do is clump up and, and go to attack this base when the time is right with the CPG. We need plus three armor. Get all this crap, this extra crap. Build whatever you can fit in random places, please. Okay, you guys are good. Additional supply depots required. Yes, heal me up. 50 minute or 50 seconds on CPG. Again, we're going to go and attack. If we can time it with an Edu-Ron force, that would be better. I don't think that will happen. Okay, let's quick save now because we got away with that section without losing too much. It's a trap. Looks like there was an incoming attack here. Man, even this group of battle cruisers is not enough. We needed the Vikings down here. Okay. Battle cruisers. Unacceptable command. We are at maximum supply. Okay, call in the assault division. Here we go. You hear? And then we've got the Vikings ready to go. Our allies there go the Edu Ron also. So let's just attack with this group. A lot of their basic units are going to get eaten up by Hunter Seekers, unfortunately. Here's where we D-Matrix. Ah, see, we could have attacked with them here. I'm counting on you. Okay, get in there, Vikings. I can't afford to look at this. I just need to assume that it's working. Atta just keep attacking, buddies. And Because I, I need to make sure we don't lose stuff to the missile batteries. Of course it just does a shit ton of AoE damage. Just get the shields down, even though we're going to die here. We should be able to rebuild these in time. We have more money than we know what to do with. Okay, back out. 
Looks like we've taken out this base with the help of the CPG and our, um, you know, I mean, we did most of the work. Let's be straight here. Cool, quick save now. We're going to do the same thing. We're going to go to a different base. Let's make sure they have not rebuilt this. No, they have not. Let's... Upgrade complete. Just clean up the stuff that's here, and then we just need so many Vikings to finish this up. There we go. We're plus three everywhere. Uh, any other upgrades that would really be useful here? Uh, starting energy on Ravens, yes. The RSSI must be looking for other ways to gain an advantage, right? So this is where we're going to need to... God, these big things. They're awful. Alright, cloak yourselves. Of course they can see us. Heal yourself. There we go. Okay, we survived that. Edioron's going for this. I guess this is where we'll send our battle cruisers, right? So everybody get up here. We need to retake these things. I don't know what they'll do for us, but we need them. Make the Vikings, baby. <clears throat> yeah, no tactical jump, unfortunately. That would be nice. Okay, Mr. SCV, come on over here and take this. Whoa, God, what was that? Let's attack with the Iduron into this base. Bring a couple Vikings with us. Or maybe all the Vikings. Oh, they're not they're not going that way. Where are you going, Iduron? Call another group of parasites. I'm I'm here. Is there a reason that this is not working? Maybe it needs to be a one of these units. What is your status? Okay, we need more tanks up here. Big chunk of them. I guess Ready for war. Ready to we can't take this. Ready to Maybe they, they technically oh, haven't taken it yet. I'm not sure. Okay, here goes the Edoron. Let's attack with them. Squadron. Reavers can do some good upfront damage for us. Okay, hold Q. Run the heroes away. Just run them away. I'll abandon this base if I have to. I don't think I will, though. Just repair this. Now this base will go down. Maybe. <laughs> What is this? Oh my god, it's the CPG, it's bugged! It's working, they're helping us! You know what, I'll take it, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna complain. I'll take it. Look at these assholes over here. Come on. Good work. The wraiths don't cloak, luckily. We gotta rebuild this stuff, grab this. This side of the base can handle itself. Get more Vikings for the actual thing. And more battle cruisers for later. I think the, the broken battle cruiser is gone. No, it's still here. Maybe that'll fix itself once we call in reinforcements again. The Annihilator shields have grown strong. Let's send these Vikings home. And we got a big group here, ready to go and fight. These are all going to die every time, as long as we can just do enough damage to it. Okay, another base down. Once all the... I mean, there's only one more CPG base, so the attacks on us are going to be so much easier to deal with. Okay, send these guys up here. Vikings. Go, go, go. Quick save. Holy shit, we're doing it. Well. And then all of these guys, very slowly, we're going to put you in position to attack the bottom right. Though our allies may be able to, be able to do it Let's themselves. The, fight. the sky darkens in tandem with the Annihilator's ever-increasing might. That one still hit us. Oh my god. 
Again, as long as we can do enough burst damage to take out the shields, the Edoron might be able to do the rest. Come on. Come on. Oh, come on. Okay, we got it. Just attack it while you can. We just gotta go and wipe this out. We can use the CPG to help us against it in the future. Both of our allies together can probably wipe this out. Our battle cruisers are gonna be too slow to realistically kill that thing. Um, I think what I'm gonna do is go for some Goliaths next. That'll help. Uh, we just need to clump up a, a type, different types of units to wipe this thing out. These guys need energy back anyway, so. Our allies are being attacked. Okay, great. Come on down here. Let's send these guys to help them. And then guess what? We're going to remake Vikings. It's got to be a detector, right? It's not? Uh, send the Assault Division in. I'm not sure where these random units are coming from. They must have another base, or they're built down here. I called in the CPG and... Oh, there they are. I'm like, if they don't show up, I'm going to be a little ornery. Ready to blunder. Okay, we got turrets for this. Okay, so all the outlying CPG bases are gone, unless there's another one, <coughs> like, up here. And it doesn't look like it. So we got tons of money, so now we just have to figure out how to actually kill this thing. Not enough energy. And they're going to drop in units to take control of these disruption towers, which, again, I'm still not really sure what they what they do or what they're for. But this is extremely useful. In the past, Dude Key has made it so that the enemy bases are, like, unattackable. In the, well, I mean, they're attackable, but all the units get, like, a secret buff, that, and you don't realize, you can't, like, tell. But they get a buff such that, yeah, you just can't, you can't do anything. Um, that's changed now. Let's come on up here and get everyone up here. What's that? See John up. Our heroes are safe for now. Are we getting mined out? Not really. It's time to disengage. Okay, sure. So now all we have to do is focus this thing down every time it pops up. So I think... Yeah, see, there they go, except they don't fully despawn. So to be fair, we wiped this base with the help of one random battlecruiser that technically didn't despawn. These guys aren't despawning either. Are they going to attack here? I mean, look, there's nothing I can do about it. It's a bit of a bug. They are. They're going to do it. And they're invulnerable when they're up there. That's kind of funny, actually. But, again, I'm not I'm not complaining. I mean, it's, it's StarCraft 2. How do you get it so that your units don't clump? And this thing does massive, massive AoE damage. Look, our allies are just waiting. They're ready to pounce. And we're ready to pounce, too. We got plenty of stuff. Let's just keep our heroes back because they're going to get blasted. Firebat upgrades. I want another group of parasites out at the field at once. Get to it, men. Sure, sure, sure. Maybe get some wraith upgrades. We don't need all these tanks anymore. They, they, in theory, have nothing... They can't attack us anymore. I think going for the bases was a huge, huge, hugely smart decision. I'm a genius. I mean, not really. That's what I would have done in every other Our situation. Allies are being attacked. Our allies are under attack by what? Okay, Edoron have rebuilt. We've got these things here for the parasites, and we can make turrets... Like this. Leave a little space to, to repair. Okay, this is great. It's just waiting for this thing to spawn so we can actually do damage to it. And we maybe we can call in CPG to help us as well. Wow, okay, so we took all the pressure off of ourselves. I had to reload several times, but this is working wonderfully. Preparations have been made for the Annihilator's next engagement. It could happen at any moment now. Again, I still was not clear <laughs> on what these things were. Is there anything here... We can track the power source. So I guess it just speeds up how fast it can come back, which is fine because it seems like 
it doesn't quite work. Like, they, they only tried to take one, and then we we weren't really able to fully take back the thing, so. I keep hearing that our allies are under attack, but I'm not sure what. They're not killing each other. For a second, I thought maybe they'd be hostile to each other, but they're not, luckily. So should I just camp on top of it and maybe spread out? Get up there, accept the heroes, please. Okay, make it turn around. Let's do as much damage as we can to it now. And then we're going to rebuild everything. And then I'll start making cuts in between, because, like, what else are we going to do? Our are being attacked. Protect our base until it moves again. All right, so I think, yeah, I'm going to start making cuts between each of these, because the only thing I can do our allies are being attacked. is just, yeah, remake this stuff. So, Vikings and Battle Cruisers, and I'll see you when it spawns again. Okay, it's going to spawn again in 30 seconds. As you can see, I've penned it in with missile turrets. The only problem is it's going to spawn. The shields will go down and it'll immediately um, dock again. So we'll see how much we can realistically do. Oh, dear. Flee to the Iduran, please. This thing popped up again, and I still am not sure what it does. I'm sure we'll find out, though. Marvel in its glory, it's as it gets destroyed instantly up here. Okay, I think we're fine. You guys, again, I'm not sure exactly what this does. But I'm going to sit these guys on the beacons. It just makes it stronger. I'm not sure. I'm just not sure. Just make battle cruisers, make vikings. Merely a minor setback. And then it's going to fly over our missile turrets. Again, I think you don't all necessarily need to see this. Like, it's just going to be this over and over again. We can remake stuff. It looks like we can't take control of that stuff. It, it looks like it makes the shield stronger, maybe? I really, I really don't know. Um, but I have so much income. Like, nothing can stop me right now. So all I'm going to do is just keep remaking Vikings. I'm going to get some more star ports. And then just remake these uh, missile turrets. But basically, when it's close to death, I'll, uh, I'll come back and, and hit you up. I think there's some things that could be changed here. Obviously, once all the RSSI bases are gone, there's really not much pressure. Killing this is challenging, but, like, there's really not much else to do. Also, the CPG still, you know, flying around doing their thing. Um, so there's really not much for me to, to do anymore, I think. You know, we're going to get mined out, but we have enough money stockpile that we can remake enough to do anything we ever need. So again, basically, once we have it close to death, I will, uh, I'll see you then. Um, I notice a problem here. I've taken the shields down, but it looks like it's going to wipe the Zerg anyway. So something is busted here. Unless this is meant to happen. I think this is... Maybe this is meant to happen once it gets below a certain amount of HP. Okay, we called in our buddies. Okay, this is actually good. I'm glad that this is happening. I, I started recording again because I'm like, this might be a bug. I'm not sure. Nope, and then he wiped it out. Okay, that's... uh. Seems like a bug. As you can see, I set up, like, a shit ton of missile turrets. That helped, but we needed more guys, I guess, to wipe it out before he destroys the base. Let's... I mean, I just quick saved. Um, I found maybe three different bugs on this map. One being the CPG forces that stay, like, on the map, but not on the map, and they become invulnerable and can shoot stuff. They're not that powerful, so it's not like they're doing that much damage, but still. Um, the Annihilator is... is has kind of wonky behavior in that sense. Our allies are being attacked. The doctor is in. Um, and let's just move. Let's get everybody up there. Upgrade complete. Our allies are being attacked. Anybody Upgrade that can assist. Complete. Make Vikings too. Just let it float through my. Let it float through my turrets first. Before we lose the units. Okay, now get everyone in there, except my heroes.
If I have to, I'll use a cheat to kill this thing before it kills my ally base. I don't... I mean, there's really not... Yeah, I don't... It says an allied base has been destroyed, but it hasn't really. I can use terrible, terrible damage, I guess, for this part. Let's just load the save rather than rewinding, because the... Well, it's too late. I've already... <laughs> I've already done it. Okay, so let's load here, and I guess use terrible, terrible damage. Hopefully, also, this is helpful for Dude Key to realize that... Um... Maybe after a certain amount of time it does this, or maybe it's because of the the power tower things that do something that I'm still not really clear on. Um, I mean, I did my best to take those back, but then they just stopped working. Um, okay, so we're going to do terrible, terrible damage. Wait. Terrible, terrible damage. Okay, let's kill this thing. Now it's turning around. Okay, now we turn it off. Okay. So we've done it. I'm sorry, but that kind of seemed like the only way after trying twice. We could have killed it after one or two more cycles. Warning, primary reactor damage, destruction imminent, danger level 12? Not 12! Crap, it crashed into the construction platform's primary reactor. This is really bad. Wait, what is that? At the top of the platform. Oh my god, is it Rick? <laughs> what can I say? I'm stubborn. You again? Crowley, how? I survived. Don't worry about it, kids. You need to get out of here. Wait, what do you mean? Listen, I can only attempt to stabilize this thing for just a bit. I'm giving you a chance to get out. This area will blow shortly. Move your sorry asses while you still have time. This... this is our chance. Daggerfang, now is the time. Kill the Protoss. Anyone who stands in our way will be eliminated. Are you kidding me? What? Crayon, no. Ugh, great. Listen, allying with Crane was the worst decision you could have made. That kid is crazy. <laughs> oh my god, and like the whole region is falling apart. I knew it. He did attempt to weaken our resolve. Shit, this is really not the time. Wow, this is interesting. I didn't expect this. Well, what the fuck are you waiting for then, kids? You want to survive or what? Ignore Crane's madness and move already. Right. Koduros, Nasarin, gather all your forces. We're leaving. Minions, stop them. Oh, he's pissed. Okay, quick save, and then flee. Oh, we got all of our heroes. Go, go! Oh, Jesus. Area blows. In 30 seconds. Ah, I, the screen is shaking. I can't click anything. What if we just right-click here and see? Oh, my God. Can we... Can we do the thing with the shields? CPG, save us. Ah, it's Kazool. No. Run. Just run. Nasarin, use your thing. 
This is truly insane. Cole Faring has been killed. I had him selected. Oh, no, that was the purifier beam. Holy shit. Wait. Okay, no, I did quick save right before this. This is insane. You only have, like, 30 seconds to get out. The best I can do, I think, it's because also when you start, all of your heroes aren't hotkeyed separately, and you, then you get Kaduros. Um, he has that thing that gives it extra armor, right? We gotta use these abilities. This, like, happens so fast. It's so quick. There's no time to, like, get your bear bearings or know what's happening at all. Three, four, go, go. That's Crayon who's doing a shit ton of damage. No, no, no. Flee! Okay, this, this shaking screen, I'm not a big fan of. Not a big fan of the shaking screen. I'll be, I'll be straight. Did he die again? Yes, he's dead. Okay. This is going to take many attempts because I, I hate to say it, but the shaking screen, you can't click on stuff when it's shaking. So I hesitantly, please remove that or make it so it's like the really quick shaking that that is it starts and stops very quick so that it's not like actively disruptive to the the gameplay because like it's it's a little unbearable, unfortunately. Uh, OK, so let's try this again. You're hot keyed. You're hot keyed. Yeah, move away from Crayon, please. Do you have anything that like allows us to move fast? I guess the that, right? Do it on yourself and then run. Let them distract us. Keep running. Use this on yourself. Go, 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 go. Okay. Quick save now. Seems like a, nice, a decent start. Oh my god. What a nightmare. We just gotta walk through this, basically. Uh, N N oh, Nassarin's on hotkey. What is she? F3? Use this? We're gonna casually walk through this. And just like, let's just wait. Area blows in just a little bit of time. I don't think we're gonna make it. I don't think we're gonna make it, boys. Oh my god! And we lost someone. I like it's so. I can't even tell what's happening. It's a nightmare. <laughs> it looked like we got more time there. Did I see it went from like 17 seconds to 28? Is that Rick? He's giving us more time to escape. He's the villain with a heart of gold, apparently, changing his mind, even though we he tried to he betrayed us, tried to kill us several times. Is there like a better way to go? Like a sneaky way to go? I don't think so. Try to get through to the Iduron. Oh yeah, we gotta we gotta get by that quickly. We gotta get by that section because it's the the Zerg unburrow. So we just have to walk through it and ignore the RSSI. The Edoron will sort of help us, I think. <laughs> oh my goodness. Uh, and it, it, it hurts that we start this section without our heroes hotkeyed. If I have to rewind again <coughs> to start the whole section over again, I will. I'm going to ignore the timer. I really can't. I really can't not. Okay, I use this. Now just try to get, just get, just walk through, please. Nope, they're trapped again. They're no longer trapped. Flee, flee, Nasarin, hotkeyed. All right, we're we're running now. Ignore that you do run. Ignore, yeah, ignore this group. Go, go, ignore, ignore them, ignore th the RSSI caused us more problems there than anything else. Yeah, that okay. So you have to move up and spawn more CPG forces to help you. Oh my God, this is. <laughs> It's cool as an end section, but I think it doesn't play very well. It would be a great cinematic, but it play it's it's very it's too frantic. Uh, it, you can't tell what's going on. The screen shake is a bit of a problem. It's a big problem. Yeah, don't don't get trapped. Don't get tra just go. Just go. Make him invisible. Anything. He's dead already. I might have to rewind the whole section. Okay. Where was it? Like here-ish? It's not that far back. It's not that far back. That's Crayon. 
Where are we? Is this after we've already been killed? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, oh no. Oh, no. <laughs> <clears throat> well, I mean, I could start making cuts here or there, but, like, I think it's important that I show what the gameplay experience is like here, because this is... I mean, I think I have a bad save, and the rewind is not working. I might have to rewind further enough back before the cutscene so that we can... How about we go to the bottom this time? Wow. Yep, Kazul just keeps smoking us. How do you get through this? Is there a better way to go? I don't think so. There's rocks that block you in other locations. I mean, even if I use my hero's abilities, it really doesn't seem like it's it's going to work. And then you start, you grab these four heroes. None of them are really hotkeyed effectively, except the function keys, which if you're not used to using, you're fucked. Um, so, like, do this. Let him fight a little bit before Kazul comes in. Ah, there we go. Okay, we're through that. I think. Who are we missing? Reeves got trapped and killed. Hmm. Let me make some cut. I don't. I don't know what to do. I'll make some cuts till I get it. Till I get it to work. It's just luck almost at this point. Go! Just go! The screen shake! Go! Where are my units? Go! Okay, make us invisible and flee. 30 seconds. The area blowing is... It's... 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 It's the specific individual areas. It's not the... It's not the... Oh, my God. We did it. Oh, my God. It wasn't for the whole area. Go, go. We have to evacuate now. Oh, my God. <clears throat> I thought it was for the whole part of the map, not each individual battle. That makes a big difference. You could actually kill the Zerg. Come on, now. Into the ships. Hurry. Kazool, I want them dead. Man, you turned into a real asshole. I guess he was kind of an asshole the whole time. Go, my allies. We shall delay this creature's assault. Just you try it. Kaduros, there's no time. You've got to move. We will be safe. Go, friend Faring. Kazool. Viking Squadron Bravo, now. Oh! Oh! Did we kill him or did he warp out? You're a lifesaver, Piers. No. Impossible. That's what you get, man. We were living in harmony. You blew it. Everybody is safe. Warping us to our vessel now, Kaduros. You. You will pay for this. Pay for what, dude? You're the one... <laughs> so, looks like you made it. That's good. NetMac, the RSSI.
We did it, Faring. It's finally over. That was undoubtedly my toughest assignment yet, and I couldn't have done it without your help. But at what cost? Big Barry B! That's really nice of you to say, Reeves. Thank you. Friends, I wish to greet you one last time before our farewell. Nasarin is tending to the wounded Iduran. She asked me to relay a message from you to from her to you. Thank you for everything. Kaduros. You have been a most valuable ally. I I'm sorry about Crayon. I should have listened to you. Let us not dwell on the past, friend. Yes, we felt betrayed. We felt our words lacked trust and understanding. <clears throat> Despite it all, we have succeeded. That foul the creature and his zerg are dead, along with the remnants of the RSSI. I'm glad we could end this alliance off peacefully, Kaduros. Again, my apologies for all the issues it caused. <clears throat> what will you do now, Kaduros? We return to Usaurus, our main colony. Borden's death still pains our people. A proper ceremony shall be held in his honor. A memorial shall serve as a reminder of the sacrifices that were made to attain peace. I shall leave you now. Consider yourselves welcome to Usaurus. Entaro Voradin. Entaro Voradin. So, what about you, Reeves? You returning to the Spec Ops headquarters, finally? Yes, and I should probably get ready. I promised Lieutenant Pierce I wouldn't take long. I told him to go on ahead. I understand. Take our shuttle, then. That's the least we can do for you. I appreciate that. It's been a real pleasure working with you in the CPG. Have a safe trip back to Core Hall. Thank you, officer. Oh, and Reeves? Yes? Before you leave, let me ask you something. Crowley, why do you do it? Why go through all the trouble to stop us, only to be the one to save us in the very end? I... I really have no idea, Faring. Maybe he finally surrendered. Yeah, <laughs> but he could have just ignored us and everything that has happened. He had no reason whatsoever to help us. It's only a guess. I'm as clueless as you are. I see. Anyways, we made it out. That's ultimately what matters, right? Yes, true. I just can't help but think of his possible intentions, you know? I understand. I'll try to keep my mind off as much of what's occurred as possible. Oh, dear. A lot has happened over the course of these last few months. I think we both need a bit of rest after all that. Yeah, I may need more rest than... more than rest, to be fair. Thanks, Reeves. For everything. Be safe. Epilogue time. Several weeks later. <laughs> Rick is still alive. Planet Enrian, Spekka's headquarters. Foreboding music. Ah, you finally returned home, Officer Reeves. 
The mission was a success. The Zerg on Kalithus IV have been cleared, and the source of the sector-wide rampage has been destroyed. You did well, Officer Reeves. We got your reports. You sure got around. Must not... Must have been not only a challenging, but also exhausting operation to complete. Well, I've been adamant to never give up on an assignment, no matter where I might end up. Yes, and you always have been one of our greatest investigators, which is exactly why it's difficult for us to tell you this. Tell me what? You see, given that Malric was such a high rank was such high ranking makes your decision to kill him a serious crime against our organization, regardless of his actions. <laughs> what? You're kidding. Are you really saying that what I did is considered a crime? We get your frustration, officer, but please do understand that. Malric was a scheming, manipulative, and outright dangerous criminal who only cared about his own lust for power, disregarding how it may have affected others. Reeves, I sincerely request that you calm yourself. Please, this is no place for discussion. Despite your ranking, you've committed a serious offense, one that forces us into an unfortunate position. It's corruption! Corruption! Did you even read my reports? Melrick wanted to destroy the Spec Ops operatives. He was planning to get rid of us. While it may have been more useful to bring Malric in for questioning, you need to realize how difficult it was to even reach him. He was an immensely skilled, psionically enhanced soldier, who had the backing of an entire organization. We lost countless troops in order to stop Malric from unleashing Project Annihilation. We lost very dear allies. Big Barry B demands justice! I felt it was more efficient to simply get rid of him quickly. I doubt bringing him back here would have been, been easy anyway. What Malric did was, a horrible, was a horribly wrong, that much as fact. This will be much easier if you come to with us for questioning. Then we can sort this out without any trouble. They're going to sweep us under the rug. Are you implying that I'm arrested now? Unfortunately, yes. What should happen to Melrick is none of your business. That is entirely our decision. This is ridiculous. I won't accept that. I mean, it took you 23 missions to send any help, dude. Listen, officer, you're making this more difficult than it needs to be. No, what you're telling me is complete nonsense. This can't be serious. So protective over Malric despite what he did, you almost sound like you respect him. Well, it's funny that you mention it. It was an inside job. Oh my god. What the hell's going on in there? Reeves! No! Alright, men. Burn this place to the ground. <laughs> Is RSSI forces have infiltrated the headquarters. Assault division, to me. What a time to be alive. Defend the headquarters at all costs, men. Fuck. Out of ammo. Going somewhere? Well, well. How unfortunate for you. Bring him to the brig until further notice. I want to have a little chat regarding this incident. 
Well, that was pretty fucked up. You got it, Lieutenant Pierce, sir. Two days later. So just like that, in the epilogue, Reeves, dispatched of. Yikes. I feel like he's going to wake up, it was all a dream, you know? <laughs> Good morning, Lieutenant. I genuinely thought for a moment Reeves was going to wake up and be like, oh my god. Morning, is the prisoner ready? That actually could have been kind of clever. Yes, sir, we have him contained as ordered. Perfect. Because, like, the RSSI have been ultra-powerful. They keep popping up out of nowhere. All right, scumbag. Time for you to tell me a little story. Give me one good reason why I should even consider saying anything to you. Well, it's either that or a bullet to the head. Your choice. If you want your freedom back, you tell me exactly what all this bullshit was about. Do I make myself clear? Okay, fine. Jeez. That was easy. Malrick ordered a squad of soldiers on a mission to, to Arion. We, dis we arrived disguised as a band of new recruits, he requested. Malrick wanted to take the entirety of the Spec Ops operatives under his command within the RSSI. I've read Reeves' report. You know the investigator that your folks killed out of cold blood? We know everything about Maurek's plans. He clearly said that he wished for the Spec Ops operative's destruction, so the RSSI would be able to, to be challenged, to be unable to be challenged by a superior force. Well, technically, that's also what he wanted to do. Spit it out, kiddo. Maurek was confident that the idea of the psi emitters and parasitic organisms would result in our victory. Initially, the plan was to only take control of the alien races. The Zerk and Protoss were the key. But Marek wanted more. He knew it'd be a risky situation, but he decided to take control of every single member of the Spec Ops operatives would bring us the opportunity we needed to truly become a force without equal. Having been in command for many years, he, is, he was well aware of what members of the organization were capable of, and he wasn't going to simply let that power go unclaimed. He knew from the get-go that completion of his operation would prove difficult. The Psy emitters were not configured for Terran affection. Then what the hell are you saying? Malrick handpicked a small unit of soldiers to travel to Arian to live among the Spec Ops operatives. We were specifically trained and taught in everything we needed to know in order to blend in. We learned from the one who knew the organization best, making our ability to hide amongst you a walk in the park. You've been walking among us every day for that long? We've been given orders to observe you and await the Annihilator's completion, wait for the right moment to strike, at which point Malrick was ready to take the plan to the next step, controlling the Spec Ops operatives. I don't believe it. Malric, that son of a bitch. We should have realized earlier that the rumors about him were true. So by destroying the Spec Ops operatives, he was actually talking about destroying our free will and use us as his puppets. Clever guy. So what about this recent attack? You were largely outnumbered. Pretty stupid decision on your part. That was a decision made by the officers. They knew we probably wouldn't survive, but they didn't care. As long as they assassinated their main target, Maxwell Reeves. But why Reeves? Why kill him? Because he killed Malric. Our officers wanted revenge. 
Besides, our plan on Arian was already ruined. The Nano Command Center was destroyed, making our parasites useless to us before we could proceed with the plan. <coughs> the Annihilator was to be used to infect members of the Spec Ops operators with a new modified strain of parasite that was configured to affect the minds of Terrans without the RSSI sensor coding, which all of us got implanted during training. But by destroying the Nano Command Center, you made our parasites impossible to control. So when our officers realized that our grand plan wouldn't become a reality, they got desperate. All they cared about was now was to assassinate the one person responsible for killing Malric. And they succeeded, but at the cost of their own lives and the remnants of the organization. Bastards. Ugh. What a bunch of lifeless outcasts. Say what you want, it's over. The RSSI is gone. Can I go now? Oh, pff, no! No, you cannot! Not true. There are still more of you, but I certainly have no more use for you. Go ahead. Shoot him in the back, Piers! Yes! Yes! Now the RSSI is gone. A few days later. That was a very odd way to end Reeves' plotline. Abrupt, slightly strange, hey sir, yes, how can I help you soldier, we got some big news just, re <coughs> just recently, I thought you'd want to hear this, so I came as fast as I could. Really? What is it? You remember Maxwell Reeves, correct? From the Spec Ops Operatives? The Special Operations Operatives. <laughs> what could I do? Of course I do. Why did I get what could I do from? Well, apparently the RSSI had a small group of training troops. Troops remaining. They launched one last strike on the Spec Ops headquarters. My ability to read is degrading. While the Spec Ops managed to repel the assault, the aftermath did leave them with heavy damage to their headquarters and a number of casualties. <clears throat> no, you're not telling me what I think you're telling me, are you? Yes, Reeves was unfortunately among the casualties. God, not him too. This news hurts me badly. Especially considering the fact that we had already won. It should have ended there. But damn RSSI, never letting up, even until their last moments. Do you remember, soldier, how we lost Donstrid back during the Korhal conflict? What we lost? As clear as day, Commander. I spent many resources initiating the reconstruction of our previously tall standing city. I've made it my goal to recreate the city as it was meant to be. It will serve as the CPG's new home. However, when that time comes, I cannot be its leader. What are you saying, Commander? I'm not cut out to be a fighter anymore, soldier. I want to settle down. Get some joy out of the years I still have left. When Donstra returns to what it once was, that's my plan. Someone else will have to take my place. Unfortunately, not all things can return to what it once was. Barry B and an arrow, I presume?
at Voradin's Memorial Grounds. Getting a little wrap up for all the different different angles here. I wonder if we're gonna find out Crayon is still alive or something like that. Or Kazul. Iduron brethren, may I have your attention? We have gathered here today to mourn the loss of a very strong Templar, Voradin. We may have prevailed in the war against the RSSI, but our victory came at a great cost. Master Voradin, known as the savior of the Iduron people, was a Templar of irreplaceable nature, the best of our kind. He fought with all his power to fulfill the goals he desired. Every action taken by him was for the greater good of our tribe. Templar, today we grieve over the loss of a great hero. A hero who by his sheer will and strong aspirations brought peace to our tribe. And our homeworld. Ideron, gather up. Let us honor this fallen hero in unison. Later. Not Kaduros too. Don't don't do me dirty like this, dude key. Not not all not Kaduros also. Old friend, it pays me to see myself standing on your burial ground. However, you're still with us. That much is certain. From now on, you shall watch over us from the stars. Observe the Iduron's every move. But most importantly, you'll be remembered for millennia to come. Until we stand at the <coughs> at the edge of annihilation. Blam! He's done it. He's done it. 24 missions, man. That's impressive. <clears throat> I think... I mean, there's, <coughs> there's a lot going on in that last mission. I think the last section was cool. It just wasn't clear to me that the timer was meant for each individual section and not the whole section. So I panicked and tried to run as opposed to fighting. Hey, that's me and Deltron. Being huge boons to the custom camp camp unity. Thank you. Thank you, Deltron. Thank you, Del Thank you, Deltron, and also Dude Key. <clears throat> Abendel, perfect soldiers. Great campaign. So yeah, make sure you download this and try it yourself. Um, I mean, there's a lot to say. I, I really just would rather just talk about the map rather than the campaign as a whole, just because it's been a really long video, and maybe I'll make... I mean, I'll leave Dude Key's separate feedback, probably on the forums. I don't think it needs to all be its own video. Um, oh, dear. Okay. Hey, glad to see you made it. Consider this my formal way of thanking you for playing through this campaign. At least what I, I assume you're here because you played through the entire thing. If not, what the hell are you doing here? This has been my first series project for StarCraft II, and it has been so well-received. Looking back on my first mission, I realized how much I learned from creating this project, and it's really because of people like you playing and providing me with feedback on how to improve. I hope you enjoyed playing it as much as I enjoyed making it, preferably more, though. 
Now that the campaign may be over, but that doesn't mean this all has to end. In fact, by the time you read this message, there should be a new map page on SC2 Mapster with the announcement of an upcoming campaign project of mine, A War Story. If you enjoyed Annihilation, I hope you will be interested enough to check out my new project's main page. Everything I'm planning to do with it is explained in great detail, and there is quite a lot of it. Lastly, thank you so much for playing. I'm interested to hear your <coughs> overall thoughts on SC2 Mapster, and I'm willing to answer any questions you may have. Thank you, and see you next time. Boom! We've done it! You know what? I, I will. I can't help myself. You know I gotta do a little retrospective. Um, I, I, think, I think just watching me play this mission makes it clear on some of the things that need to be changed with the map. I'm not sure if I broke it. I'm not sure if it's something I did that broke specific parts of the map. Um, you know, I've already listed out some of the gameplay issues that I had in the final escape section. I think has the potential to be flippin' awesome, especially for the final gameplay section. But, it, you know, it starts so quickly, and uh, the timer is meant to get you moving, but again, that makes you think that you just need to run. And the characters say, just run! So you're running, and then you get path blocked, when in reality, you can kill the Zerg. You have plenty of time to do it in each section, and that's, I mean, I got stuck at that one point, and then, and then I realized, oh, I can just kill the Zerg. Uh, in any case, I think the campaign overall um, is really strong because it has a personality. Um, and that personality, I think, is really around the flavor of each mission and the gameplay of each mission. I think Dude Keep brings a lot of uh, interesting ideas to the table such that it's not always, you know, build your base, take another base, go and destroy an, an enemy base. There's always something to do. And I think that's really important especially for a campaign. That's the difference between a melee versus a AI, just a 1v1 me versus an AI versus a campaign scenario map, right? It's not just build and destroy because, again, that's what that's what melee maps are for. Um, I think I think the story, like, if it, it... I think the framework is there. I think the way it's presented could be changed in certain in certain ways to make those gut punches, like all the like the certain character deaths. Like, Vorden's char character death was really impactful. It was done really well. I think Reeves getting unceremoniously taken out in the epilogue. I guess I'm just not clear on what what was trying to be said with that. Kind of like, oh, this organization with their dying breath will do something just to spite you, I guess. Um, and I'm not that I'm upset that he's dead. Like, I get that's part of the story and that's how it happened. But I'm just not sure if that was the right way to go about it. I think this idea of, like, a conspiracy within Spec Ops could have been set up more. Because throughout the campaign, I was asking questions that weren't really posed. And I thought it was like things in the background that would come due. And when they did, it was at strange times. Like, I was thinking, like, something's weird with Spec Ops. Malrek used to be part of Spec Ops. What's up with Spec Ops? Do they report to any sort of government force? Or are they just like a random independent organization that just is enormous and, like, polices the sector, right? And it, I, it may have been explained, but not in a way that really stuck with me personally, I suppose. And the same with the RSSI. They were like cockroaches. They just, you stomped them out, and then suddenly there were like a billion more. They just kept popping out out of nowhere. Um, and my understanding was they there was a co conflict on Core Hall. They were defeated and yet somehow had this giant force. I think that could have been part of the story, which is like, where are they getting all these people from? And maybe at the end, the interesting twist I was thinking was going to happen was that the prisoner would reveal that they were mind-controlling people this whole time because like where were they getting all these people from they just kept getting more people and it was never explained how or why they just kept getting more people so i think that i don't know that maybe that's just my head cannon on on explaining them because <coughs> they were almost like a a macguffin of an enemy like it's not like a macguffin technological wonder uh it's just like they just magically appeared so it was challenging for me to totally feel much impact when it's like oh no they're back again like of course they are. They always are. But I, I think the Protoss element <coughs> was my favorite part of the story. I think the Crane betrayal could have been set up a little bit better in the sense, like, it was totally in the dark. It'd be interesting if when he betrayed you, um, you could look back at another point in the campaign and say, Oh, I see what was going on there. You know what I mean? It was something sort of unexplained from before that was ambiguous. And then when it comes due, it's the betrayal. But instead, he's like, Oh, I actually hate you all. Um, whereas before that, you genuinely think like, oh, I think he was just misinformed and he gave bad information to the Protoss. Um, so again, I think the framework for the story was there, and I think I completely understand from Duty's perspective, which is, this campaign was made over four years, and as the missions are made, 
Um, you either have to go back and rewrite entire missions, or you work with what you've got. And I think that's kind of what's happened here, is every mission comes in and he realizes, oh, I think I need to move in a different direction with the story. Um, and also, obviously, you have to work around having fun gameplay, which I think is the core element of this campaign, is it's very fun to play. Um, obviously, certain elements land or don't land. I, I can remember certain missions I had so much fun with, and then some missions I'm like, ah, I don't know. Like, this end one was fun for most of the time, but when I realized... Okay, I destroyed the CPG bases, now I just have to kill this battle cruiser as it lifts up and then lands, and then lifts up and then lands as I do damage to it instantly. Uh, and then it just immediately lands again, and so I just cut pieces of that out. So, uh, again though, like, the there's, there's like, major foundation in the missions that may not have landed for me such that, they, they you know, they have the potential to be awesome, and then all the other maps were just genuinely fun. And I really appreciated the diversity in the missions. Again, they weren't all the same. They all had some interesting element to them, such that even the micro missions, it wasn't just auto attack from point A to point B. You had heroes that had interesting abilities that you had to use, otherwise you would not have made it. There was no just simple auto attacking through any of the... Um, the, the micro missions. A lot of them were really fast paced and you had to react quick. That was really fun. Um, hard difficulty certainly felt like a brutal in the sense like you needed to practice as opposed to just perform well and you'll get it the first time. So I, I suspect that was intended. In any case, I had a blast with this campaign. I'm sad that it's over, but I'm also happy to see Dude Key's working on something else. And I'm also happy that he finished it. Uh, just in general. Like a lot of campaigns get picked up and then abandoned. This is something like it's, it's really admirable to see something like this finished after so long. And it was consistent work. It wasn't like you disappeared for two years and then came back and finished it. Like It's just been like solid, every several months, new map. Every several months, new map. And just like that that amount of motivation and discipline is, is really admirable. I really mean that. Uh, so I'm glad that I had uh, the pleasure of, of playing it. I had fun <clears throat> from start to finish. All right. Thanks, everyone, for watching. Leave your thoughts below. Head to SC2 Mapster. Leave some feedback as well. Play the maps for yourselves. I'm looking forward to a war story. I'll check that out uh, right after this. All right, bye, everyone. Enjoy your holiday.